Hi. Took me a while to microphone up. Sorry about that. Hi there. Uh, that's what I was trying to get. You probably didn't when I was like pointing and didn't have a microphone. Um, hi. Let me set up the... Um, oh, yeah. We got vacation. We're not doing Tai Chi. I'm showing vacation pictures. Just kidding. Just kidding. I do have some cool vacation pictures, but I'm not going to bore you with them. I know you don't want to see them. All right, we got music going. Looks like the stream is a little choppy, but sometimes that smooths out. Welcome. I hope everybody's having a good day today. I hope you're having a good week. Um, yes, I. If you didn't, if you weren't here on Monday, yes, I had a great vacation, three thousand four hundred miles in uh, one week. So we did a lot of driving, but we got to see. Um, a lot of the country, and man, we have a beautiful country. Just amazing, amazing scenery. Uh, the Badlands were incredible. Uh, Yellowstone is just amazing. Yellowstone is like five different parks. There's a wildlife viewing park. There's a canyon part of it. Uh, there's the lake part that we didn't even get to see. Um, and, uh, well, we saw wet, what they call West Thumb, but didn't get to see the main part of the lake. Um, and then there's the, um, the geothermal part which was amazing. Um, anyway, it was a really cool time. So um, it, it did have, it had a really good time. And the Grand Tetons, uh, majestic is the word that comes to mind. I have a great picture. I took a really cool panoramic shot of the uh, Tetons over Lake Jackson. It was pretty amazing, pretty amazing. And I, and I also have to tell you, uh, I talk about uh, when we're doing cloud hands about keeping your head up because you can see the horizon great example those panoramic shots uh, same thing if you're doing Tai Chi that you start from looking here and you get to see the whole horizon as you do it so when you're doing cloud hands um, you get to watch that whole panoramic view as you're turning so as you're turning that upper body you get to see that whole panoramic view it's really really cool I gotta tell you so anyway uh, Point of order, um, I will not be streaming next Wednesday, all right? Next Wednesday, which, let me verify that date. It should be the 7th, I do believe. Um, but let me make sure one of the things I meant to do before I came on. Yes, the 7th. Um, so next Wednesday, the 7th, I will not be streaming. Um, I have a doctor's appointment, so um, had, I couldn't, I, yeah. I have a doctor's appointment, so, um, so I will not be here next Wednesday, okay? Um, I think that's everything, so uh, let's get started. Right hand, fist, power, left hand, fingers together, friendship, tucking the thumb, always remaining humble. And the fist goes into the palm. Welcome. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for being a, making Tai Chi part of your day, all right? All right, I'm gonna get a drink of water before we get started. We're gonna do the five element Qigong breathing, okay? Um, okay, there's something else I was gonna say and it just flew from my mind. And let's go ahead, let's get started. From that Wuji position, we are gonna do six breaths for each element coming back to earth for three breaths after each element, okay? So, um, I've done this before. We have earth, metal, water, wood, and fire, okay? Hang on, just got a warning. Interesting, okay. Um, all right. Flashes up warnings occasionally as I'm doing this, so I have to figure out which ones to ignore and which ones to that actually mean I'm going to stop streaming. Okay, so from the Wuji position, we're going to start with Earth for six breaths or thereabouts. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, 
exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. <laughs> Go to metal for six breaths. Inhale, exhale, so open and close. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Return to earth for three breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Water for six breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Back to earth for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Wood for six breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Return to earth for three breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Fire for six breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Right hand palm up, left hand over the top, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Return to earth for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. And pause for one moment. Just close your eyes. Feel your body. 
keep breathing. Close the eyes and feel the body. Feel your feet. Feel how your feet are connecting to the ground. Check your posture. Keep your posture nice and straight. Are you sinking the weight down? Continue to breathe. As your body starts to settle in, continue to deep breathe. Become aware of what's going on around you. Listen to sounds inside the house. Listen to sounds outside the house. Don't engage them, but become aware of them. I hear my computer hard drive spinning. I hear the refrigerator running. I hear someone cutting the lawn outside. I'm still feeling my own body and listening to my own body as I deep breathe and relax. Beautiful. It's amazing when we close our eyes how much more we become aware of what is going on around us. And that's part of meditation is becoming aware but not becoming engaged so you don't you know, I hear somebody cutting the lawn. I don't have to think about, well, what neighbor's cutting the lawn? Does my lawn need cutting? Um, what about that other neighbor that really does need to cut his lawn? Um, I don't have to think about any of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just aware someone's cutting their lawn. It doesn't have to go any farther than that. But when we close our eyes, it allows us to start absorbing what's happening around us. Um, and again, we're not engaging in it. We're just hearing it understanding it. okay all right so oh got a like already thanks um okay so that's our breathing exercise to get us started off that's qigong five element breathing okay okay moving along let's do our warm-up exercises okay everybody having fun Woohoo! You can check in with me on the comments if you want. Always nice to have someone just kind of go, Hey, Craig, how you doing? All right. We're going to flow through these warm-up ex... Oh, by the way, when you heard me laughing early on in the Qigong Five Element Breathing, um, Lulu is out here with us, and she's settling in, and she kind of did one of those dog kind of... Kind of groaned thing, so it was, it was, just, it was making me laugh. As we started breathing, she started to calm down. So, and she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna relax in here," and she was just kind of groaning. So, it's kind of made me made me chuckle. All right. Now, even though I'm Craig, for a moment I was chuckle. All right. Inhale. We're gonna start with the chin tuck. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, tucking in the chin. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Looking side to side, inhale, Tai Chi ball left hand on top, exhale, right hand, right shoulder, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. 
Forward shoulder circle, shoulders back, up, inhale, forward, down, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now reverse that. Forward, up, inhale, back, down, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Gathering chi, gently reaching for infinity. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful, touching heaven and earth. Inhale to prayer hands. Exhale, left hand up, right hand down. Inhale and exhale. Right hand up, left hand down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Inhale back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Carrying the ball side to side. Inhale to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, left hand on top. Exhale, left. Inhale the ball over. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale the ball over, come back to prayer hands, exhale, relax the hands down. Lower body exercises. Word of caution, make sure that you have a chair next to you, all right? Maybe one chair to one side, maybe if you're having a bad balance day, have a chair to either side of you, okay? Make sure that you are staying safe, okay? Oh, I know what the other announcement was. Time out, one second. I know what the other announcement was. Um, so, those of you that used to take live class with me at Pilgrim Congregational, it's PCC, Pilgrim Con, oh man, cannot. Um, we used to have a Monday class at noon. Um, right? Yeah, at noon. Monday class, noon, pilgrim, pilgrim Congregational Church. Uh, pilgrim Congregational Church. That's it. Um, anyway, that class is going to be probably starting up soon. So um, shoot me an email regarding it um, or be watching your email or your phone. Um, probably going to be restarting that class fairly soon. That's the only class that I'm aware of that we're restarting right now. Um, we may have more coming as things open up, okay? That was the other announcement. Hip exercise side to side. Make sure you have a chair next to you, all right? Inhale to your prayer hands. Exhale, gently pushing to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, gently pushing left. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Inhale back to prayer hands, exhale, relax the hands down. Forward and backwards, weight shift, inhale, left heel. 
Exhale, left toe. Inhale, heel. Exhale, toe. Inhale. And exhale. Back to center, other side. Weight shifts left. Inhale, right heel. Exhale, right toe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And back to center. Moving on, heel kick. Stay safe. Use your chair. Weight shift. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more time each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Bow stance is next. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time each side. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. We will finish with the ankles, weights on the right, left foot. Don't look at your feet, look straight ahead. Inhale on the heel, exhale on the toe. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Weight shifts to the left, right foot. Inhale, heel, exhale, toe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Weight shifts to the right, left foot. Inhale, little toe. Exhale, big toe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Weight shifts back to the left. Right foot. Inhale, little toe. Exhale, big toe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And back to Wu Ji. Beautiful. Go ahead, shake those legs loose. Good job, everybody. Wow, you guys are really quiet today. You guys are really quiet today. <laughs> All right. Those of you watching me on a TV are probably like, Craig, don't get that close to the camera, dude. <laughs> the very first time. So we high definition was out for a while because we had everybody, everybody watching probably remembers standard definition TV. And when high def came out, I was like, wow, looking through a window. 
And then I don't know how many of you have seen actually 4K out there, 4,000 lines of resolution. So the, the jump you made from regular resolution to high definition, uh, that was like a four time jump, uh, roughly a little bit more than that actually, depending on what you were watching in high definition. Uh, but it was like another four times as much jump to go to 4,000 lines of resolution. Um, so the very first thing I saw in 4K was on a huge projector on a, on a huge screen, and it was David Carradine, who you might remember he used to play um, uh, Grasshopper in Kung Fu. Um, David Carradine has had a rough life since then, um, and it shows. And you could see it like on his face, it was like, wow, Dave, David has had a really rough life. And in 4K, wow, that came out. That was, uh, man, you, you could see some fine, fine detail. So anyway, let's do a leg strengthening exercise. You probably didn't come here to learn about high definition TV, but it just made me think about that. Okay. Think about your posture. Think about keeping the, your knee bent as you do this, all right? Weight shifts left, right foot, cat stance. Tap right toe out in front, empty. Cat stance. Right foot out to the side. Keep the upper body nice and straight. Cat stance. And tap right toe behind us. And cat stance. Back to Wu Ji. Weight shifts right. Bend in the right knee, left foot, cat stance. Tap left toe out in front, empty. Cat stands once again. Tap left toe out to the side. And cat stance. And tap left toe behind us, empty. Cat stance. And back to Woo Ji. Beautiful. Shake those legs loose. All right. Round two. In round two, we're going to do some more weight shifting. We're going to step out empty and then fill that foot with weight, allowing the other foot to go empty. And then we're going to set that foot back down empty and then fill that with weight. All right. So. What we're trying to learn in the second part is there is an automatic switch in your brain that when your foot hits the ground, your body immediately says, let's put weight on that foot. And we're trying to break that automatic happening. All right. So we're trying to get you to set your foot down, leaving it empty, no weight on it, and then shift the weight. You are in control of your body. Override those automatic switches, those those automatic tendencies that when my foot hits the ground, I'm shifting weight onto it automatically are going to get you in trouble at some point. All right. So we're teaching you now to override those switches. Okay. Ah. Weight shifts left, right foot cat. Tap right toe out in front. Same thing that we did before. Now we're going to set that right foot down empty, but we still keep our weight left. Now go ahead and shift the weight to the right, bring all the weight to the right, bend in the right knee, tap or float the left foot behind us. Then set the left foot down with no weight. Weight shifts to the left and right cat stance. Tap, right toe out to the side, empty. Set that right foot down. Keep your weight to the left. Now shift weight right. Bring all the weight to the right, which will then allow you to tap or float the left foot. Now we're going to set the left foot down, but not put any weight on it. Now shift weight left. 
and right cat. Awesome. Tap the right toe behind us empty. Set the right foot down with no weight on it. Now shift the weight back onto the right. Keep the back straight, which allows you to tap or float the left foot in front of us. If you want a little bit more work, you can raise the left foot up a little more. Set the left foot down, no weight. Then shift weight left and right cat. And step into Wuji. Beautiful. We're going to do it to the other side. Weight shifts to the right. Bend in the right knee. Left foot. Cat stance. Tap left toe out in front. Empty. Set the left foot down with no weight. Now slowly shift the weight to the left. All the weights on the left. That allows you to tap or float the right foot behind us. Keep that upper body straight. Set the right foot down, but don't put any weight on it. Then shift the weight to the right and left cat. Tap left toe out to the side, empty. Set the left foot down with no weight. Now shift the weight to the left. All the weight goes left, which allows you to tap or float the right foot. Set the right foot down with no weight. Shift weight to the right and left cat. Tap left toe behind us, empty. Set the left foot down with no weight. Now shift the weight back onto the left. Tap or float right foot in front of us. Again, you want a little extra, you can try and bring that leg up a little further. Then set the right foot down with no weight. Weight shifts to the right. Left cat. And step back into Wuji. And celebrate. Shake your legs loose. Good work, everybody. Good work. Seriously, you guys are quiet. There is a comment button there, see? You can do this. There you can go. See, that's how it works. All right. Let's do some. Um, let's start out because we took a week off. So let's start out with Tai Chi for arthritis, okay? Um, parts one and part two with music. Yay! The crowd goes wild. So, let me set my music up. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you, Margaret. Thanks for saying hi. By the way, Margaret, I saw your... Um, yeah, exactly, Jeannie. Uh, thank you for saying hi, Jenny. Margaret, I saw on Monday you posted something right at the very end um, about the, I think you said the pic pictures were okay or something like that. So, ooh, actually, I don't know if this will work. Hey, I'll try this. This is for Margaret. Let's, hang on one second. Nope, nope, wrong way. Whoa, 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 no. Hang on. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. There we go. This is actually one of my favorite pictures that I took. Well, there we go. Go back. And I don't. I, I doubt if you're going to be able to see it. Is that? No. Never mind. Okay. Sorry, Margaret. I tried. I got a really cool picture right at sunset. So the light was shining on the Badlands. It looked really, really cool. And there was a, a pronghorn standing and looking out into this valley and the, with the, the hills uh, had this just beautiful um, color on them. So it looked awesome. 
Nancy here. Comment button not working well for me. I'll try again. No, you got it, Nancy. Thank you for announcing the return to Pilgrim UCC. Pilgrim United Congregational Church. That's it. Thank you, Nancy. Um, yes. Um, and you can also contact Nancy's trying to coordinate all that with Pilgrim UCC. That's Monday noon till 1. Um, and that's down right at is that that's at Union and Del Mar. Is that correct? It's right by Soldan High School. So, all right. Tai Chi for Arthritis, part one, part two with music. Um, let's have some fun. All right. Cause, cause we haven't been having fun so far. Thank you guys for saying hi. It really helps me cause I mean, I'm teaching to a camera here, so it, it really helps me. Uh, some, some days I need that human connection. So thanks for doing that. I appreciate it. Commencement. Part two.
<clears throat> a touch slower, but you know what? I like that pace. That pace felt really, really good even though it turned out to be a little slower, so. All right, so Nancy, what'd she have to say? Perhaps on July 12th, but not yet confirmed. Unfortunately, do not have a good list of former participants. I hope they can get in touch with you or me. Interesting. Hi, Shannon. So glad you're here, Shannon. Yes, people, uh, Shannon and Nancy were part of that class. And I'm hoping you got my email from yesterday. Carol um, was the keeper of that list. So, um, and then, oh, who was the other lady who would have a great idea? Um, oh, what is her name? Oh, I cannot think of her name. She was part of the church. Um, I want to say it was Shirley. Um, we supposed to look at the hands at the beginning of brush knee like you do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, uh, that's a great question, Jeannie. Um, Carol, somebody else may have that list. I cannot think of her name though. I want to say it's Shirley. Um, really, uh, very sweet. She's African American lady. Um, was always there, had the kindest heart, um, greatest smile. Boy, I can I want to say her name was Shirley. Um, anyway, she might have the list also if you're having trouble getting in touch with Carol. All right, to answer Jeannie's question on brush knee, well, depends on where you're at with brush knee. Jeannie, I think you can go ahead and watch the hands. A lot of times when people do brush knee, they're worried about the turn, so they look into that turn um, and then do that. So the enhancement on that is, it's very sharp of you to catch that by the way. Uh, as the hands fold back, you can watch the hands as you're touching and watch that hand as it comes forward, okay? So it tests your balance a little more to do that. Um, it's much easier on your balance. So if I'm turning to my left, I'm not mirroring you now to get my feet in the picture. If I'm turning to my left, um, it helps my balance to look this way. Um, if I want to tax my balance some more, you can look at the hands and follow that hand through, okay? Same goes for repulsing the monkey. Very same thing as for repulsing the monkey. Um, as you do this, as you do that first repulse the monkey, um, it's easier on your balance to look where you're going. However, you can look at that hand and follow the hand through. And then this works especially so for as you turn forward. So if you're having a bad balance day, you want to may look forward, but if you want to help your balance even more, you can watch that and do that step and watch that hand as it moves through. Okay. Excellent, excellent question. So. Um, looking off in the distance will help your your balance, um, but following that hand challenges the balance a little more. So you can decide when you want to get there. You can also do kind of a halfway thing too, uh, where you're like, boy, I'm just not sure. So I'm going to kind of look this way where I can see that hand out of the corner of my eye. And then as the hand comes forward, notice I'm looking this way, but I can see my hand and do that turn so you can kind of bridge that gap there a little bit also, okay? Uh, good point, I wondered about that. See, Jeannie, I tell my students all the time, if you have a question, somebody else has the same question. So, um, yeah, that's, um, remember that our intent follows our eyesight. So whatever, um, wherever you're looking tends to be where your your intent is going to go. So just keep that in mind as you are doing it. Like, you know, for cloud hands, I'm looking over the long and the middle finger as I do cloud hands. Now you can do cloud hands and look straight ahead as I'm doing now, or you can like turn that body and look over that, long, that middle finger, the long finger. Uh, same thing happens as 
we are doing modified single whip and then as you change to punch fist under elbow this hand is right in front of me I'm looking right over my middle finger the long finger as I block and then step forward and punch fist under elbow okay um, you can also practice this remember everything that we practice goes back to the warm-up exercises okay I saw you commented uh, Jenny I'll get to that in a second um, everything goes back to the warm-up exercises and this actually goes back to that neck exercise looking side to side so when you get used to doing this and looking beyond so let me do it coming towards you this may make a little bit more sense hold it what am I doing I'm doing <laughs> turning the neck so as I turn the neck as I'm looking notice I'm looking kind of straight into the camera I'm looking over this long finger right here all right so I'm not doing this where I'm looking down at the palm of the hand but I'm gazing beyond the finger so as I'm doing this as I look from the side notice my hand is a little bit below the shoulder but my neck is rotating and staying nice and straight so I'm not doing this but doing this so again we practice things in the warm-up exercises so when we get to the forms uh, we can practice them at a deeper level and learn those nuances um, I try to imitate your nuances I'm sorry about that Jenny <laughs> um, no that's a, that's a good thing to do it's, it's a good thing to look for and watch for so um, all right we're gonna have to end it there guys sorry Wednesdays are a real packed day for me uh, these are some great questions though I love these questions and and look at the comment line look how lit up it is now so um, we'll keep you up to date remember one week from today there is no class sorry guys doctor appointment only time I could get in to see the doctor and it was important that I do so okay um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think that is everything so let's do our cool down exercises you got me into talking about those nuances, which is good, which is good. Uh, everybody on here uh, can be practicing those nuances. Everybody who commented here, um, all of you can be practicing those nuances. Next, tighten up all the muscles and relax. And again, tighten up the muscles and relax. And one more time, tighten up the muscles and relax. And finally, gather chi. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Guys, have yourselves a great day, okay? Um, Friday, I'll be on the APDA exercise channel. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll be back next Monday or not. Uh, that's a holiday. I got, I got to check with the boss on that one. And I will not be here next Wednesday because of a doctor appointment. All right. Strange, strange times. All right, guys, have a great day. Have a great week. Um, stay safe. Have a happy July 4th, by the way. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that in my first class today. Um, doesn't matter what side of the political aisle you are on. Uh, we are definitely living in crazy times. However, uh, we still live in the best country on the face of the earth. It is not perfect, uh, but it is still the best country on the face of the earth. Um, a lot of men uh, gave their lives to die for the freedoms that we have today. Those freedoms are not perfect, um, but there is no better country on the face of the earth than the United States. So enjoy the freedoms. Think about the men who gave us those freedoms. Um, if you were one of the founding fathers, um, if you were rebelling against the king, um, if, if this experiment didn't work, if they weren't able to free our country, they would have been killed. Um, so would have been hung for treason. So have a happy July 4th. Um, give blessings for all the independence that you have um, and I think if we st keep striving as a community to um, make those uh, make everyone independent um, I think we will continue to have this amazing country all right thanks guys talk to you soon <laughs>